Publishing Company, and it was all about heritage, and it was all about family, and about preserving your stories, and telling your stories, and your legacy to your family, which was really important to me. Um, and it still is very important to me. And I fell in love with this new company, and I found that I was digitally scrapbooking and digital storybooking for all of these these wonderful pictures that I was taking of my daughter and my, my family and um, having a wonderful, blissful time. Well, I grew in that company. Within three months, I hit one of their top level directors and I was in the top 1% of that company for seven years. Love that company, okay? I loved it, loved it, loved it. Unfortunately, it had its struggles. So they needed to sell the company to somebody else, to another company, and that was a health and wellness company. And I, and they wanted to sell, um, they, you needed to sell vitamins and weight loss products, um, was one of their, their main items. And so I really struggled with the correlation and the tie and the, the acquisition of the company. And, um, and I tried it for a little bit and you know what? It didn't give me that drive. It didn't give me that passion. It didn't give me that Oh, I want to, I can't wait, go, go do this. I was not having fun anymore. It was no longer fun. Well, at the same time, so my hobby is I sing with a um, acapella chorus, uh, 140 women, and we do jazz hands, jazz hands, and we sing and we compete internationally. So here I am already a makeup junkie. Here I am performing with fake eyelashes all the time. And then out comes this fabulous mascara. And mind you, after the company that I was with got, got acquired, I was like, I'm never going to do another direct sales company again, ever, 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 ever. <laughs> so you have to remember 1996, six months in creative memories. Then I was with a cosmetic company for about seven years. And then I was with this other company for seven years. Long story short, here we are. When it's 2016, it's going to be 20 years since I've been starting my direct sales journey. <laughs> I've been in direct sales for a long time. So when this company came up to me or when I found them and I was talking to the to the gal, she was telling me about this company and it had this mascara that was absolutely fantastic and it was cosmetics and it was a new brand new company and I love ground floor companies. I'd been in one and I knew what it took and I'd been in it before and I was like, ah, what the heck, I'll give it a go. <laughs> well, I literally hit the top rank in the company within six months. I now currently, and I'm sure this is, we're in December 2015, I right now am at 2,950 people in my complete, that's how many people have been in my organization for the last 19 months. That's how many people I have. I mean, we are doing incredible, incredible sales. My, my success line alone did 313 thousand dollars in the month of November in cosmetics that's crazy insane it's the most um, I if you would have told me when I was 24 that I would be slinging mascara training women to make their lives better it, in a sense of it to pay for pay for shoes every month or pay for their own makeup habit or to create a successful career where they can leave leave teaching, leave being a courtroom trial judge, leave being a nurse. I mean, where this is putting food in people's mouths and paying for their things and retiring husbands. And if I, if you would have told me that in 1996, or even when I was a little girl that I'd be doing this, then I would have told you you're crazy because this is not, I never thought the direct sales and MLM was network marketing and I'm a network marketer and and I love it and I love training women and I love the personal growth aspect of it for me it's always working on how can I be better and not only that I get to be a stay-at-home mom I get to be a mom I get to play I get to travel I get to go out shopping with my girlfriends I get to go visit my mom I get to go play I get to go on cruises for free I've gone on like eight vacations for free, uh, taking my husband with me and us having vacations of a lifetime with friends and having a good time. No matter what it is, I mean, honestly, if, if you would have told me that this is what I was doing 20 years ago, I would have laughed and I would have said, no way, no way. Um, so I'm thankful. I'm thankful for all the people that have trained me um, in the past. I'm thankful for Diane Dinkmeyer, Judy Guerra. I'm thankful for um, 
Barbara Ward. I'm thankful for Hallie Red and um, Doug Cloward and Wendy McGee and um, all, even all those people, that, the ones that don't even know who I am. Eric Worry, Tony Robbins, um, Cy Seminars. I mean, there's so many people that have trained me and taught me and of course my family and support, you know I mean? But I just, cause I'm on a constant state of growth. It's not that I want more because I need more for greed. It's that I want more to change the world, to make a positive difference. One of my absolute um, goals in the world is to, um, during the holidays, is to go to a neighborhood that doesn't have very much money. And I would love to stand there and secretly pay for everybody's groceries. <laughs> That's a goal of mine. That's something I want to do. Something about groceries and people feeding their family touches my heart. Um, oof. <laughs> Some, there's something about that that moves me um, and when I know that people say that oh my gosh Jen I sold two mascaras today I didn't have any gas in my car um, and now I can go put gas in my car or I can feed my family I mean I've had those calls where they're like Jen I went and I sold two mascaras from my website and now I have money three hours later that's amazing <laughs> so we are moving to the top. I love this business and um, and I absolutely hope that um, you decide to be a network marketer and to join me in Unique because um, it's quite incredible and it's an incredible journey and I, and I want the best no matter what it means for everybody. So anyway, my story. Love ya. Everybody deserves to be a queen. Everybody should be treated like royalty. Love y'all.